Hello my friends, welcome back. Leanna here. Today I'm doing something a little different. There is a whole community here on YouTube of ladies that do what's called Mask Mondays. Every Monday they put on a face mask and then they do other things. They talk about things or do unboxings or what have you. I was a little surprised when I searched the hashtag that there are 64, 68 channels that participate in this mask collab. So I love watching their videos, so I thought I would jump on the bandwagon and do the snail mask. I was supposed to do this mask for Jean Louise's birthday. She has an amazing channel. She has the most infectious laugh of just about anybody I've ever seen. I just love watching her videos. So today's Mask Monday is in honor of Jean Louise, even though I have missed her birthday. Also, while I'm doing the mask, I'm going to talk about a giveaway. I want to do a giveaway. I, today, I have 120 subscribers. When I hit the 200 mark, I will do a giveaway and I will show you everything that's in the giveaway and give you all of the details later on in the video. For now, I'm going to put snail poo on my face. So this says that it's a snail secretion filtrate that has been used for centuries to treat skin problems and maintain skin healthiness. It says to leave on for 15 to 20 minutes. When you take it off, you gently pat the remaining snail poo, I mean snail secretion, into your face. And it tells you not to reuse it. So this should be interesting. <clears throat> mm. Snail secretion. Doesn't smell like a snail. Of course, I have no idea what a snail smells like. Here it is. Oh, it's very drippy. <laughs> Okay, so while I'm unfolding the mask, as y'all can see, while well, those of you who are returning, that I have drastically altered my hair. It was time for a haircut. I was way overdue. And I thought, let's do something drastic. Because, you know, it's just hair. It'll grow back. Or... If I don't like the color, I can always recolor it. Okay, I'm struggling here. I'm going to end up with snail poo all in my hair. Okay, here we go. One of the ladies today put on a panda mask. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. She looked like a little panda bear. All righty. Here we go, snail poo on the face. Uh-huh. Okay, I don't want to get that in my mouth. <laughs> it's bad enough that I'm putting it on my face. I wonder if this is good for your hair. Mm-hmm. It's a little odd <clears throat> to me, because this is my first time doing this, to be on YouTube putting on a face mask. But it's a great way to actually do this, to pamper yourself and take care of yourself because we all sometimes will neglect doing that. We're pretty good at taking care of everybody else but not so much taking care of ourselves. Okay, so 
I'm going to take what's left on my fingers and run it down my neck because when you treat your face you should treat your neck too you don't want to you know get your face to looking like it's 20 and your neck looks like it's 100 I'm gonna rub it on the backs of my hands too I'm gonna cut it because well what do I want to cut it at I know this looks really dangerous y'all but if my scissors will cut Oh, they don't want to cut. Let's try it this way. Well, that's a little bit better. I just want it to lay down on my face right here. There we go. Because, you know, I need snail poo in my eye, too, if I'm going to get it everywhere else. <clears throat> all righty there we go snail poo is on Jean Louise I hope you watch this video so that you know because I think you're awesome I put snail poo on my face all right so I'm supposed to leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes this still has a lot of goo in it. I'm going to lay it over to the side. Oh Lord, I'm getting it in my mouth. I don't, I mean, you know, I know people eat snails and stuff, but uh, I don't want that in my mouth. <laughs> okay. All right, so as part of this little Mask Monday self-care video, oh, I see as I talk it's going to come away. I want to talk about <clears throat> a discussion that I had with somebody just yesterday. And she was concerned about being vain with all of the new things that she's doing to take care of herself, putting on makeup, skin care. I think it was the subject of the false eyelashes that kind of made her feel like that she was being vain, which made me think about, you know, it used to be, you know, back in the 60s, well, it, it really hasn't been that long ago, that women were expected to take care of themselves and put on their makeup and do their hair and all of these different things. But of course, at that time, they were to do it for their husbands. And now that we're choosing to do this for ourselves, a lot of people think that it's being vain, and I disagree. I do not think that it's being vain. So I looked up vain. Google told me what vain means, and it means excessively proud or concerned about one's own appearance. And I do not think that doing skin care or putting on your makeup every day or trying out false eyelashes is being vain. I think that that's, like I said in my introduction to my channel video, that's the ultimate expression of self-love as far as I'm concerned. It even sounds squishy like a snail, I'm just saying. So, <clears throat> a lot of people might think that you're vain, especially if they're the jealous type, but you just need to ignore that. Are you being vain or are you being confident? For me, when I put my makeup on, take care of my skin, even this, it makes me feel more confident about myself because I'm taking care of me. I don't, I don't think that it's this whole thing about being vain. And if people think that you're vain, just ignore them. And if the voices in your head are telling you that you're vain, just ignore them. Slather the serums on your face and put your makeup on. And if you want to buy the bougie makeup, buy it. And, and don't feel like that you're being vain. Just wanted to throw that out there. So now let's get into the giveaway. 
As of today, I have 120 subscribers. When I hit 200 subscribers, because <laughs> I can never say that word, I'm going to do a giveaway at the 200 mark. So all of the comments on this video, this my very first Mass Monday video, will be entered into the giveaway. And there is a secret word. So the way this works is you type the secret word into the comments in a sentence. You have to use it in a sentence. And then there's a website that you go to and you put the link in for the video and it has a comment picker, picker and it chooses the winner. The secret word obviously has to be snail. <laughs> yeah, so you snail in the comments in a sentence to be entered into the giveaway. This giveaway will be open internationally. I will pay for the shipping to ship it internationally. You have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel publicly. If you don't know what that means, you can search it on YouTube. There are several people that have done YouTube videos about how to be subscribed publicly. Mm, Lordy Lou. Um, you have to be 18 years, at least 18 years old, and that's pretty much it. When I hit 200 subscribers, I will come back to this video and let the comment picker choose a winner. So now let me show you what I'm going to give away in this video for this giveaway. <clears throat> First up, I have the CBD Soothing Bath Bomb. It has 200 milligrams of CBD in it, and it is lavender. I'm at 12 minutes, y'all. Hasn't been 12 minutes since I put the mask on. I didn't pay any attention. Oh, well. I'm also going to include this bottle of glycolic acid toning solution. This is from The Ordinary. I love The Ordinary products. They're some of my favorites. Along with that, I'm going to include this Reservatrol, <clears throat> excuse me, Furilic Acid from The Ordinary. This 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil, also from The Ordinary. This retinol 1% in squalene from The Ordinary. I'm going to throw in some samples. This Cetaphil Healthy Glow Daily Cream Lotion, because if you get any boxes from anywhere, you know this stuff runs rampant, and I have many tubes, so I might as well pass some of that along to one of you. This little sample of Hello Activated Charcoal Fresh Mint and Coconut Oil Toothpaste. This Humphreys Witch Hazel Alcohol Free Toner Nourished with Aloe. An Ahava Mineral Hand Cream that has Dead Sea Water in it. The Ahava products are really good. Another Ordinary product. This is the Caffeine Solution 5% with the EGCG in it. This is really good under your eyes. If you have eye puffiness or fine lines, this works really well. This bottle of Dickinson's Gentle Balancing Toner. It's alcohol-free. Some coffee scrub, exfoliating coffee scrub. Doesn't say if it has a flavor to it. This bottle of QMS Lip Line Corrector. This is a very good brand and the QMS brand is normally quite pricey. 
this little milk makeup cheek and lip, I believe. Yep, cheek and lip. And the color on it is work, which is cute. W E R K W E R K. Yep. This is a Wonder Beauty Unleashed Volume and Curl Mascara. Pixie by Petra Lip Glow. It's a tinted lip balm. And it is in the color Ruby. This little Smashbox palette. It's Cover Shot Desert Eyeshadow Palette. Has a little mirror in it. Very cute little neutral palette. And I'm throwing in some eyelashes because if you feel vain that you wear eyelashes, then I want you to wear them every day. This is Ardell Faux Mink eyelashes. They're very, very flirty. This set of Marmalade Square Matte Silk Finish Nails. This is a Wander Beauty Double Date Lip and Cheek Combo. And I have not... Did I? Oh, yes, I did. It's got tape on both ends, but I did cut the tape on one end. It's super cute. It has lip and cheek on one side, or lip, lip. I guess you could do this lip and cheek. So that's here. As y'all can see, I'm really good at this. That's there. And then there's the bomb, and it's got a cute little mirror in it. So cute. And the last item in my giveaway is going to be this Ace Beauté Nostalgia Palette. This is a very, very pretty palette. And I know I'm going to regret giving this away, but I'm going to give it away. It has the Shadow Saver on it. And look at those colors. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Look how vibrant those colors are. Just a gorgeous palette. I really want to stick my fingers in those, but I have not touched it. It comes with a mirror, too. Such pretty packaging. Very nice. So those are all the items that I'm going to include in my giveaway. And between now and the time that I reach the 200 mark, the box might grow more, depending, because... Any of you that watch my videos know that I get a lot of subscription boxes, so there might be some other items added. And right before I upload the video, I will total up the value of the box and put that somewhere here on the screen. So there we go. So I don't know how much longer I've got. How much longer have I got? Mm, three or four minutes. What are we going to talk about now? Um, I'm going to be playing around with my camera settings the next few videos. So if things look a little wonky, it's because I'm trying to figure out what the best settings are so that you can see everything really well and, you know try to get rid of the shiny glare when I hold products up. So if you're wondering what the heck is going on, that's what the heck is going on. You'll just have to bear with me while I try to figure out those camera settings. Beautiful weather here in Missouri. As you can see, I have on a a tank top because the weather is so nice. Today, I'm going to upload this video today. It actually is Monday, the 
5th of April. <clears throat> and I'm off on Mondays. I work through the weekend. What's the matter, Biscuit? What's happening? What's going on? So I'm just at home chilling and putting snail poo on my face and digging through my stash to come up with a, a nice giveaway. And yep, that's about what I've got going on. all of the little goodies here in this pretty box. I will not be mailing that in the box because <laughs> it's too much stuff. Has it been long enough? I think it's been long enough. Although I hate to take it off, it's still got a lot of nice snail poo that my skin can absorb. It does feel really good. It's, it's not, it's not slimy. I really thought it was going to be slimy, but it's not. But I look really odd, don't I? Hmm. Yep. All right, y'all. I don't know what else to talk about, so I guess I'll take this off. I got it in my hair. And then just rub the rest of that into my skin. Now one thing we can talk about really quick, it's my under eyes. I don't know if anybody notices, but my under eyes are looking so much better. The wrinkles and the puffiness I have been wearing under eye patches to bed and I'm amazed at how well they stay on throughout the night and it really is helping my under eye area because they used to be this one today is just a little bit puffy for some reason but my fingers are a little bit swollen but it has really made a difference not just in the puffiness but in the appearance of the wrinkles and fine lines under my eyes. So there you have it. That's my very first Mass Monday video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I put snail poo all over my face. If you're new around here, my name is Leanna. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and I sure hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're not already. And I'd like to remind you that makeup is meant to enhance the natural beauty that you already are. And we are all beautiful at any age. Ooh, after that cooling mask, my face feels really warm. Either that or snail poo causes a hot flash. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye-bye. Christopher, even in a Mass Monday video, I'm going to give you your makeup tip. Coffee scrub. So, when you make your coffee. You can take your coffee grounds, maybe get you some essential oils and, and put in there and then you can scrub your legs and your arms. Don't scrub your face. Don't put it on your face. But you can exfoliate because this really smells like coffee. Well, I'm thinking it really is coffee. Maybe that's why really smells like coffee because it is. Mama loves you, boo. Oh, I'm such a silly girl. I just never know what's going to come out of my mouth.